Each generation we learn a little more, and it, would, it points toward about a dozen guys that might have been the first one. And one of them was uh, Philip Lefevre. He was originally from France and came down from New York into Lancaster County. And the other was the Baker family. They were English gun makers. And these guys are in that era of that 17, 19, that Milan was working but not necessarily making guns. So if you do the math on the timing and what we do know about those other other makers, it's likely it was one of them. Now in the book I mentioned seven or eight others that could possibly be the first gun maker. Look at the carving and, and the silver work and the inlays and, and the patch box and the engraving. That defines, really, that really defines the long life was an art form. Lancaster's known for raised car guns, too, so that became kind of a higher art form in some cases versus some other areas. And the patch box, if you look at the patch box carefully, particularly the early ones, it's, it's a personal signature of the creation. Not just, he didn't buy these off the shelf. So you were looking at the carving as the hand of that gunsmith, and then, of course, the patch box and the design of the patch box.